The president of the Confederation of African Football, CAF, Ahmad Ahmad, has invited two primary school pupils in Ghana to the headquarters of the governing body of African football in Cairo. The two, Kobunai Enti and Eko Enti, pupils of the Ghana International School, for the past two and a half years have championed the cause to provide boosts for talented barefoot players in La, a suburb of Accra. Touched by the initiative which have seen over 200 young footballers play football with boots, Ahmad Ahmad paid the school a visit on Friday, September 23, to encourage the young boys before extending an invitation to the boys. I mean, your colleagues help you to do it and you can extend it in another school because it is very, very, very good action you have done. I have not so much things to tell you, but uh, I have a privilege to invite you to give you a ticket by flight. I invite you to Cairo to visit. <laughs> to visit the office of CAF. Miss Kosi is going to organize it when we have a school off because we don't like we don't like to discard you for your school and you spend maybe three four days there to visit or to there and the general secretary receives you and myself and uh, you know what is the headquarter of Africa uh, Confederation of African Football. The president of the Ghana FA, Kwesi Nyantechi, eulogized the people's initiative to aid the development of coast football in Ghana. I want to congratulate you and I want all of you to see them as role models, even though they may be your peers. They are role models because they are picking up something extra to the normal character that is uh, expected. They have chosen to do something that is not taught even in the classroom. They will not teach you in the classroom to go and mobilize boots for class that don't have boots. It is something that they thought out of the box. And even as adults, I don't know, the school and beyond, those of us uh, organizing football, we haven't thought about it. But they are endowed with the skill to think outside the ordinary uh, scheme of things. And what they have done is exceptional. There is no precedent anywhere for it. It has never happened anywhere for young boys of their ages to do such a philanthropic thing. And this is highly, highly commendable. Congratulations, gentlemen. <laughs> Ahmad Alma spoke to Kwesa Free Sports after inviting the people to CAF headquarters. You know that uh, an exceptional initiative for this level of age of people. Even a big person not have this action, don't do this action. But it's very impressive for us. And if everybody, imagine, it's only in one school, imagine in all the country, all the school, all the continent of Africa, we find two people like that. Imagine the development of football in our continent. That's why we are very, recognized for this to boy. You invited them to come to CAF headquarters. Yeah. What are you going to tell them when they come there? You know, they do this action and they, they don't know where is the headquarter of CAF or is the land of CAF. It's important to see this uh, because it interests them and it motivates them too much to go ahead. Kobinai Enti and Eko Enti spoke to Kwesa Free Sports and revealed the motive behind the initiative. Um, what really influenced us was seeing that they had to share boots and some of them they didn't even have boots. So we just thought that we should donate boots to them. And at first it wasn't, we weren't even thinking about getting all this and uh, we just thought that we had to donate to the people who were underprivileged and the people who didn't have as much as we did. So how do you feel finally to have the CAF president recognize your work? When you recognize it, I feel very happy because that means people are people understand what we're doing and people are really taking it into consideration that people don't have as much as we might have, so we should give back to the community. You'll be invited to the CAF headquarters. What are you expecting when you get there? I think 
we should see. I don't know. I don't really. I, don't, I just. I'm just really excited. You're just really excited. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just because they, they really don't have as much as you have. It's not that you're better than them. It's just God has privilege. God has made you a privileged person in life and given you more. So you should be giving back to the community. Did you f felt pity when you saw some of your mates out there playing with that bus? Yes. I felt that um, it's, it wasn't really fair on them because they hadn't done anything. They were, ju it was, they were just born with less privileges. So have you made efforts to speak to corporate bodies to assist you in your aid to improve the standard of football? Um, for boots, yes, but maybe later on we could start um, going around trying to get a, a better pitches for them to play on. What sort of influence did your parents had on this? They had a good influence to encourage us when we had the initiative to start this, and I and they very they've encouraged us and made us go through with the highs and lows of this and uh, which and they have been big influence influences on this you're going to have headquarters how do you feel i feel very happy because i've never been to cairo before yeah. so that's a new country that i'm going to and uh, i th i want to thank the calf president for inviting us mrs nai auntie Mother of the peoples could not hide her elation over the recognition her boys have gotten from CAF. I, we are, we are, I don't know what words to use. We, we had no expectation. It was something the boys were doing out of their heart. It was something that we've always encouraged them that, as he said, that, you know, when you're privileged, you are blessed to be a blessing. So if you're blessed, you have to look around yourself and see where else can you be a blessing. So for me, the vindication is that all the, when I say it, you as a parent, you don't know whether your, your words register with your children. But this show demonstrated that as I go on about it, it had registered. My boys had picked up the fact that they were privileged. And because they were privileged, they had to make sure that they would look out for somebody else. And football is something they love. So for them to notice that other children were not playing with boots and for it to stare them, in itself, it's the accolade for us as a family. But for this recognition, it's just out of this world because we really had no expectation. It was something that we're doing, it was something that we're going to continue to do. This is a boost. This tells them that the game is on. There's more to be done and they have to, they have to rise up to it. So, so, so what is the motivation behind all this? Simply, what I said, if you are blessed, you have to be a blessing. They, that's the motto we live in our house. And so that's all. There's no motivation that we have an expectation of anything. You are blessed, you have to be a blessing. End of the story. Um, for us as a family, that's all it is. CAF President Ahmad Ahmad is in Ghana on a four days working visit. Thank you.